Hey, welcome back, Prentverts. Little short video here. Recently got a used Ender 5. Uh, was warned it had a problem with the extruder motor. Thought it was something configuration-wise. Turns out, yeah, it was a bad extruder motor. So I did end up having to replace it. Move my mic a little, since we're just using the side cam. So I figured I would show you how to tell if you have a bad motor. Uh, it possibly took out the stepper driver on the main board as well. Uh, but I had a spare, so I threw it in there before you even got to this. And uh, that's how I really determined I was having issues. And then got a new one for $14. So, all you really need is your trusty multimeter. We're going to stick it in continuity mode. Continuity. Boy, this camera does not have, like, close focus. Basically, the way that's going to tell you maybe you have a complete circuit yours may be may not super simple process all right we all know on the side of this motor there are six pins uh, first problem I thought it was is possibly they had swapped the two inner cables or inner wires on the motor cable and that's why it wasn't creating a loop because there's mainly only two circuits so only four of these pins are really used uh, one circuit helping making the motor turn one direction, one letting it go the other direction. So I swapped those two wires around, which I'm sure many of us have done, and uh, did not make a difference. So all you're going to do is take your multimeter, and you could actually look at your cable. I should have grabbed one. Not have a motor cable. Aha! Yes, there we go. My apologies, I should have had that ready. So as you can see, your standard motor cable, camera is horrible to focus on. I'm sure we've all wondered why those two extra pins aren't used. I do not know. I'm sure they're probably for a different type of stepper motor that does use them and stepper driver combination, but obviously we don't use those. So usually on these motors, these two wires and colors kind of imaginary because who knows what you're going to get, but on this one, the red and the black appear to be a pair. Oh no, I am wrong. And then the uh, blue and green are a pair. So let's just say that's how it is. Uh, sometimes, which this one is wired very strangely, um, these two wires will be swapped, the two center wires. Uh, that is only the easy way to determine this and this will help you determine if you have a bad motor. It's the same method. So obviously the center pin in between, let's just say first pin, second pin, third pin, fourth pin, fifth pin, sixth pin, Obviously, second pin is not being used, and fifth pin is not being used. So we really don't have to test those. So we will take our negative, stick it on the first pin, and we will go ahead and stick it on the second pin. And we get nothing on the multimeter, as we should. So let's go to the next one, the third pin. Nothing. Fourth pin, nothing. Fifth pin, nothing. Sixth pin, nothing. Am I touching it? It's working. All right, nothing across any of the pins, which is kind of strange. We should have got one on one of them. Either it would have been the third pin or the fourth pin. Uh, that will also help you know whether those two center wires need to be reversed. So let's try from the other side. We're going to put the ground on the sixth pin. We'll hit the fifth one. Nothing. 
fourth one, nothing. Ah, third pin, there we go. So on this motor, the third pin and the sixth pin are part of that one circuit. So that's how you know that this wire and the one over here on the third, not the one you next to it on the fourth, but on the third is the, I'm gonna say negative side of it, could be the positive. Um, that's obviously why in your firmware you end up reversing the direction of the motors. Now, the fact that we didn't get anything coming off of this other pin across any of these tells us immediately that one of the circuit paths for the coils that spin it in the opposite direction, whichever direction this one does, three through six, is shorted is uh, burned out. It, it does not have continuity which means it doesn't have a path for electricity all the way through the circuit. Uh, so obviously, that's why this motor wasn't working. Um, I am going to assume, I don't know this for sure, but the stepper motors probably apply positive to one side and a negative force to the other. Oh, sorry, I'm touching the metal surface, continuity. Um, and that's why when one of this one side of this motor burned out, this thing would just sit here and tick it, tick it, tick it, tick it, tick it, tick it, and never turn. Um, so, that's how you find out. It's, it's pretty simple. So you'll learn two things. One, if you have a bad uh, circuit on half of the motor, which obviously this does, and also whether these two center wires need to be reversed. So you cannot, which is my hypothesis at this point is, is they, uh, it does look like one of the wires, the motor wires, was replaced. So it looks like they replaced it with an aftermarket and they weren't swapped on the center two and trying to use it over and over and over um, just burned it up and possibly the actual stepper driver. So that's all you need. Cheap meter. This was a like $5 Amazon buy. And you will know. Save you a bunch of time. As a bonus, since we know this motor is bad, we're going to crack one open. Uh, I actually already did crack this one open. Because I, as well, have never done it. Alright. Get one of them fancy LTT screwdrivers. screws out. I do not recommend doing this at all. Although it looks like it, it's pretty non-destructive, I definitely don't do it unless you don't need the motor. And it should uh, did pull just straight off last time. There it goes. So there is the base. You can see the pins coming in. It should just pull straight out. You can see there's some bearing sitting in there. This is what the inside looks like. As you can see, there's where those two wires go to for the left and the right. Uh, there are two more pads here that don't have anything soldered to them. I'm assuming that's for a different phase type uh, motor and these are just kind of a general genetic uh, generic circuit board that goes on them. And we can go ahead push the motor out. This part is a little tough. Oh, there we go. Ooh. And another bearing on the other side. Just slides right off. Here is the inside. Basically you can see each of the coils in there. So one of these coils has gone bad off of this one circuit and uh, since it affects multiple of them that's why it wasn't working and there is inside I definitely got to get a better camera for close-ups there we go Let's stick it back together it's pretty straightforward once again do not recommend doing this because it just not gonna end up 
right when you need it. There we go. That's in. Guy goes right back on there. There we go. Get that lined up. And that's it. Just throwing these screws back in here because I don't have any use for them. Now, I'm not sure if other stepper motors are different. This is Creality 4240, pretty standard. That's just the thick one on all their printers. And I also have a thinner version. I don't remember, I think it was a 4040. I don't know. Uh, but there you go. There's, there's how you figure out if you have a bad motor. All right, y'all have a good one. Now, this guy gets to go in the garbage.